Как вы это думаете? Hello everyone, this is Lunar and welcome to more The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we uh, freed the Zora King and completed the Iced Carbon, uh, getting ourselves the Iron Boots and the Serenade of Water. On this episode, we're going to start a very long trade side quest There's on every single The Legend of Zelda game since, I believe, the second one. Anyway, let's talk to a pretty new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy uh, late risers out of bed. Have you heard of them before? It make a very happy crone cuckoo! Especially when he wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You. You look, you look like you're good at handling cuckoos. I'm handling another women's cuckoos. That's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Here, take this egg of your cuckoo hatches. Bring it back to me after a while. And you, I'll check out this mood. What do you think? We will try? Yes. You get a pocket egg. It will hatch over nine. Which means... We have to play the sun song because we don't have to wait for now. And yeah, this is the start of a big tree cycle. So we have a bucket cuckoo, bucket egg, which evolves into a bucket cuckoo, much like we did before with uh, melon. And speaking of melon, in this house over here. If you care to explore the world, you will find someone very familiar, related to her. It's Talon. So your fair were wondering why Talon was this whole time. He's sleeping at Kakariko Village because he was, um, you know, expelled from the ranch. Or shush from the ranch. What if I do this? What internation! Can a person get a little shut eye around here? Yes. Did you just save Malon? Thanks. I'm going back to the ranch then. Yeehaw! <laughs> so yeah. By saving Epona, uh, we can actually wake up Tal uh, Talon. And this is basically how it started the side pass. By wake up Talon. As we did as we when we were young. So going over here, showing the lady to the cuckoo to the lady. Oh your cuckoo looks so looks pretty happy. He must have awakened us from a lazy guy. You're a good cuckoo keeper. I'll give you a rare available cuckoo uh, if you're interested. His name is Corrido and it's used it to be a it used to be my brother's cuckoo. It's blue but it's quite charming. It's so cute. My brother has gone. It's strange, but Kohiro, Kohiro has stopped crying. Do you want to keep Kohiro? Yes. Uh, you returned the pocket cuckoo and got Kohiro in return. Unlike our cuckoos, uh, yeah, something like that I couldn't read. So, with that, we have a cuckoo with the color of our cloths. Nice. But that's not what we're going to do right now. We have to go to Lost Woods. So. I'll meet you guys there.
So going to Lost Woods, uh, we have someone you should meet around here. Remember, this belongs to her brother, and he is he is on Lost Woods. What is he doing here? He's not not responding. He's sleeping. So we showed this to him. Kohiro, why? Normally, only nice guy like me can tame you, which means you. You must be a nice guy. Must be. You must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. Please, Mr. Postman. Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long. So you gotta hurry. Okay. You got a not mushroom. Uh, a fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to the Kakariko potion shop quickly. I have three minutes to do that. We are trying three minutes. And this thing over here will give us a little nudge. And that's the sole reason why that exists. Now we know why we plant this that uh, magic bean over there. So with that, we go to Kakarika Village. Meet you guys there. So Kakariko Village at daytime, we can uh, either do our little trick from before, that is jump from the platform over there, or you can go through the potion shop, your way it works. Uh, if you have a later item, you're doing this after the water temple, you can use the item to go through the rooftops uh, on Kakariko Village. But I just got to do my trick. Oh, where's this guy over here? I can do it like this, or not. Uh, I have a minute, uh, and more than enough time. So let's go through the potion shop. Uh, through the here, through the back. I thought that guy wasn't there in the daytime. Oh well. And we get here to the to the hag. Mm, yeah, I completely skipped that. <laughs> what a mysterious smell. Am I chef chaffing? Can I thank you? That bomb! He had to go into the first I see. Hey, give it to me now. Excellent animation over there. If you see the fool, give this to him. It's the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will now work on the monster. Huh. Why is she seeing her? Receive an odd potion. It will it may be used. It may be useful for something. Hurry to the lost woods. The taste say there's no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that is true. So anyway, with that, I meet you guys at lost woods. So back at lost woods. Uh, let's deliver the medicine that we get for that guy, shall we? Oh wait, there's a fairy over here. What's going on? Show that to the girl. That guy isn't isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Only he saw us left. He <laughs> he. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. You were told the odd potion and you got a porcher saw. The young punk guy must have left this behind. <laughs> Are we going to be too? Are we going to be too? <laughs> this little area is so freaking important to the freaking timeline of the game. So, uh, without getting too much spoils, whoever get lost in Lost Woods, 
becomes a Stalfos. So all of those Stalfos that we were fighting before on the forest temple at one point were people. They were taken over by darkness and become that. So the, the next area you will have to go is um, Gerudo's Valley. So I'll be meeting you guys there. I'm sorry you guys have to say this. Uh, let's go over here, jump off the cliff, and I can't cross the bridge by, like that. It is now over here, talking to this guy. Hey, Tetsa, it's mine! But I thought I left that son with my old lady. Oh well, my big arms too broke. So I was going to Garden City to get it repaired. You coming here is great timing. You uh, we will give me my saw. Good kid, thanks. I'm sorry that I can give you something as good as in return, but they this anyway. So we got the broken Goron sword. Another thing for us to get later uh, down the line. So here. We could have a gold scatula, but some decide to come up. What can I do? I can do nothing about that. Anyway, it's night time again. Give me that. Get a gold scatula. And over here, if you break those rocks, you have a treasure chest as well. So if you're playing a randomizer, tell you have it. Another treasure chest for you. Whoopsie daisy. So, uh, there you go, 50 rupees if you want it. If you don't want it, just do as you please. Anyway. Uh, there's a hole behind this as well, right? To play the Song of Storms. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit deterred from the actual mission. Yeah, there you go, there's a hole over here, and a gold scotula on the back. Oh, so just business scrap. So if you're doing a, a shop insanity randomizer, there you go, some, some for you. I uh, got the gold scotula. We have a 69 scotula, nice! <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, there we go, 69 scotchless. 31 to go. All right, so with this, we have the, uh, the Begorn Sword, which means I actually can teleport to the place I have to go. So, see you guys at the top of Death Mountain. So, at the top of the Death Mountain Trail. We have a Goron that is having a lot of troubles with his eyes. Let's get uh, our sword and see if we can open it up, shall we? Yeah, so with the Goron sword, uh -huh, we showed that to him. The broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine and evil drops in Zorjamay. You find them if you go to see King Zora. Please go get the eye drop. With that, we, uh, we che you check in the broken gore sword and receive a prescription. Go to see King Zora, so boy. Yeah, um, you'll see where this is going, so. I'll catch you guys at Zora's Domain. Domain, city. I like to call this a city, this is Zora city. Uh, we go here to talk with King Zora. That's the reason why we have to free him, not only to get the Zora Stone Egg. This is why I like to do this side quest once I free uh, King Zora because he's the last link to this quest. Okay. Oh, this is well. Mm, eye drops. 
You might say we have then. You might say we don't. We don't have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake laboratory, he can make the drops for you. But you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Yes. So, Lig, yeah, you use the prescription and receive an eyeball frog. Uh, be quick and deliver it uh, to the lake while it's cold. Yeah, we have three minutes for that. So we have to go to Lake Ilya in order to deliver down, but you don't have a shortcut there because it's all frozen up. Everything is frozen. So I'll meet you guys at Lake Ilya. Lake Observatory. I think that the Lake Lab, at least. Let's go over here. And if it would be the last time we were to see this guy, huh? Hello there! Anyway, so we showed this to him. Oh, wow! I haven't seen any eyeball frogs like this since George the main froze over. Uh, these eyeballs are so delicious. Tonight, I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. Such great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. Eh? What? Those are for making big girls' eye drops? Oh, how disappointing. You should have said it in the first place. Uh, I don't speak. I'm a silent protagonist, buddy. So, with that. Here it is. This medicine doesn't have any preservatives in it, so it won't last long at this temperature. Run as fast as you can to Death Mountain. You're young, you can do it. Uh, I'm young, I have a horse. World's, you trade the eyeball frog for the world's finest eye drops. Hurry, take to the Begarnos before uh, they go bad. I have four minutes for that, so meet you guys at the crater. That? Uh, with one minute spare. We gave the eye drops. Really? You brought the eye drop? I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. It echoes through death mountain. Whoa! <laughs> this is stimulating. This is stimulating! It's working great! I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very consistent. So I'll give this to you. Uh, you won't forget. After a few days, please return. Wait, just wait, just wait patiently. And you get the Begar Sword. You... Uh, the Begar Sword. You got a claim, claim check for it. Uh, you can wait for the sword to be completed. So for that, I go to the crater and I usually skip three days for I can actually claim the sword. So let's do this right now. More time, one more time. One day by. <laughs> Second is gone. We couldn't do this on Majora's Max, we only have three days in that game. <laughs> no, not this link. Not not yet. And one final time just to make sure.
And with this, we get out of here. With skedaddle. So we have the Begaran. And with this, we show the clay. That sword is my finest work. We get you handed you handed in the clean check and got the Begar sword. This blade was forged by a massive smith and won't break. Yes, we got the Begar sword. The Begar sword do double the damage of the massive sword. Not only that, we cannot use our shield. But we're gonna kill things so fast that you don't you're not gonna need our shield. Basically that's what you're going to do. Uh yeah. No, thank you. It's 212. Not good to know. And with that I'll be going to Lake Helia and end things there. Because that's where we're going next. So just so you can understand. Uh, we use the Kokiri sword for three temples. We use the Master sword for two temples. You can do this other order. Uh, you can do this even before the first temple start. So, yeah. And now we're going to use the Begarn sword for three temples and one thing later. So it means that the Master sword is the sword that you use the least on the game if you do the things the order I'm doing. Or if you do the things not on the order that I'm doing, uh, it actually like do the first temple first uh, before do the first temple after you done this. You don't use the master sword at all. Yeah, basically that. So thanks everyone for watching. Catch you guys next time, and bye bye. Yeah, that's it for today.